going on everybody here welcome back to some more subnautica modded with the automation update so last episode we got our little base built um it's a little base but it'll work for now it'll do what we need to do and today this is gonna be a bad idea but we're going we're going over there we're gonna go check this place out because i want to see like what the dealio is what's going on and i want to see what we need in the form of resources and like what we can actually gather and take with us so i want to go ahead and i want to get some batteries made if i have the things to do so this one is empty uh we need we're gonna probably need let's see a battery is what is the battery again is it one copper or two copper one copper and acid mushrooms okay so we could go ahead we can make three batteries with this let's go ahead and let's do that and then we're going to make our way over there. We're going to leave everything else here that we don't need because I am a little bit worried about dying. I think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a thing. <laughs> it's not going to be fun, but we're going to try. I'm hoping that we don't get eaten by a Reaper Leviathan either. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, perfect. So that's our batteries. Let's go ahead. Let's get those made up. Let's head over there. And let's also leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Um, all right, let's get going here. So let's put this away for now. Let's go ahead and let's grab you this here and three batteries. Oh, we probably don't need three. We probably only we could probably get away with two. Actually, I'll probably leave one here. Yeah, um, OK, let's go ahead and let's leave a battery. Do I need the air bladder? I don't need a fire extinguisher. I probably don't need the repair tool. You know what? Let's just take everything with us, except for a battery. We'll leave a battery here. All right, we're good. And oh, food and water. OK, uh, I need some food and water. <laughs> so we'll take those. Let's go ahead and cook up those. Our melons haven't started producing enough yet for us, so consume that, consume that. OK, so those all look good. Let's go ahead and use our health kit. Do we have another health kit that we could take with us? Do I seriously not have another health kit? All right, let's go. Let's do it. We're heading over there. This is going to be awful. I'm hoping that this there's not a radiation issue over here. I mean, this is terrible. This is going to be a bad time. 19. It's I mean, we're not that far away from it, but we are like far away from it. I'm worried about Reaper Leviathan, to be completely honest. I want to try staying towards the surface. Okay, so sand shark. Oh, you know what? I what? we might not have a reaper in camp. Well, I'm not gonna jinx myself. Okay, so there's that guy. Okay, these sharks, the bone sharks. That's not terrible. I mean, they sound scary, but they're really not that bad. All right, let's get some oxygen. And let's head down. I'm really hoping this is inside so that way when we get down here, we'll have oxygen. Okay, all I see is I see bone sharks everywhere. And if this is the area that I think it is, I think we're only gonna have to worry about bone sharks. Bone sharks. Hoping there's no ghost leviathans over here. I don't think so. I don't think we're far enough off the map yet. Altera hub fabrication facility. Uh, this place looks broken. Oh, fantastic. This place is broken. So that means it is underwater. Okay, we can't get in there. Where the heck do we get in this thing at? Interesting. It looks pretty sealed up. Um. You know, I don't really actually know. Okay, we're going to go to the surface here. Uh, 
Uh, you know, this air bladder, this new air bladder is terrible. Ever, the, well, I don't know what happened with it, um, but it's it's awful now. It used to shoot you up to the surface so fast. We're just gonna barely make it. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. All right, let's go ahead and replace the battery on this. All right, let's go back down. We gotta figure out how to get in here. I might need the laser cutter to get in here. Okay, so I don't really see... Oh my gosh, there's arrows pointing to it. Wait, how do I get in though? Oh, here we go. Here, here. Oh. Security and info. Use repair tool. Ah, it's a good thing I brought the repair tool. Um, you know what though? We're gonna need to go get oxygen like right now. It won't repair. Okay, we gotta go get. We have to go get oxygen. How did I get in here? Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of a huge pain. Um, uh, let's see. So we have to get a battery for this guy. There's our two batteries. All right. Well, now we know how to get in there, so we're gonna have to fix that repair station. Maybe we can like activate it or something. I have no idea. Okay, so we're back in here. All right, so let's grab this guy. I forgot I had to put a battery in it. What is this, like a metal detector? Open door. Staff lounge generator room. Okay, so we've got all this stuff, but like, I don't actually know what, what's going on here. Transport terminal. Oh, hot chips. Mmm, delicious. Okay. Oh my gosh, we gotta get back out of here again. You know what? Maybe I need to make the upgraded auction tank. Because this is, this, I, I just don't have enough time to do anything. All right, so back through here, back through here. Access to security booth needed to unlock. Okay, was there anything else in this room that we could just grab real fast? What's this? Nothing. What's this? Those look like kits, but I don't see anything. Bottles, these, this. Something here. Uh. New power source. Okay, so that's not gonna work. All right, we gotta get out of here again. Darn it. Oh my gosh, this is like, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it out this time. Oh no, I'm stuck. I need out. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it out this time. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it out or not. We'll see. Okay, I think we're gonna have to come back here with, we're gonna have to get a bigger oxygen tank or something. Because I just don't, I, I just don't have enough time down there to do anything. And if we had the sea moth, that'd be nice because then we'd have an oxygen source closer. Oxygen. Um, But we just, ugh, we need something. Oh my gosh, we made it. Okay. We're heading back. We also almost died on the electricity too, so let's go ahead. Let's head back. We've got to, uh, we got to evaluate our situation here and kind of see what's going on. We definitely need the bigger oxygen tank for sure. And it would be nice if we get the Seamoth and then a depth module for it, but getting the depth module is going to unlock, meaning that we're going to have to get the, um, I think we're going to get the, the, mol the moon room and then we're going to have to get the vehicle fabrication module and all of that fun stuff. Oh, I just want, I really want to get into that mod stuff. We did pick up one kit though of something and we'll check that out once we get back to. Okay, so we are back. What did we get? Wait. I thought we picked up something. 
Oh, it was a it was a data thing, wasn't it? Uh, but what was it? Not the scanner room. Scanner room. Transport drone terminal. Storage module, titanium ingot, beacon, and a wiring kit. Transport drone terminal receives transport drones to transfer items to and from the Altera Hub Depot. Oh. So we we have to like Altera Hub Fabrication Facility. Altera Hub Depot. So there must be an Altera Hub Depot in here. So we don't actually have everything unlocked then from the start. We have to actually make some stuff. Okay. Um, let me, I'm going to go, let me look through this stuff again. Make sure there's nothing that we can make right off the bat here. All right. So new idea. Um, we're going to, I want to check out something here. We used to do this a long time ago in the early days of Hydroneer or <laughs> early days of Subnautica. We used to just pay, place these guys down with a hatch. Now, I think we have to have power on this before it'll give us oxygen, right? Emergency power. Correct. Oxygen production offline. And if we want to have power, we're going to need a solar panel. So let's get the stuff for solar panel. And we'll just build one of these down there next to um, next to that area. And then that should give us a option of... Oh, you know what? I just realized. I think I used all my copper for... One copper, two titanium, and two quartz. Um, quartz... Titanium. We need some copper, though. And then we're going to need this battery as well. All right, let me go grab some copper. Now, I don't know how well the power is going to work like that deep because there's like almost no, uh, no visible light. But if it gets us just enough to get the oxygen systems online, then we'll be golden. All right, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. We're going to head back there. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna head back there and we are going to uh, we're gonna try to build one of these down there just so we have like a little spot to get oxygen and I do have another power source now the generators there was a generator down there it said it required power uh, and it didn't give me the option for batteries so I'm curious if it's a power cell but I don't think we have the power cell and oh we do have the power cell unlocked Okay, well, hold on just a second then, because we've got dead battery and dead battery. We have 100% battery, 6% battery. Okay, so these two are dead. So let's get that. Let's get a power cell. And then we'll see if we can use that in the generator. And then I don't know what the generator is going to do, but maybe it'll like fire up and I don't know, something will come online or something. And then it'd be nice if it would like drain the place, but I don't think it's going to do that. So we'll take those two with us. Okay, so we have everything. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and take... Let's top off our food. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and slice up some food here. Get this all replanted up. And then we also need to take... Uh, I need to get some health kits. Okay, we're good. We got some health kits. We should have a battery and we can swap batteries as needed to get from place to place um i don't have a laser cutter though and we might need a laser cutter to get through there i don't know we'll see but let's go ahead and let's get that little tiny base set up and hopefully hopefully it'll have enough light to just get enough power to uh to give oxygen to it and then we'll be good all right we're going into the deep here i don't know if there's gonna be enough light down here for that solar panel to work but we don't need a lot just a little all right, perfect. So let's go ahead and let's get a tube. Let's get a hatch. And a solar panel. Please work. Please work. Please work. Emergency power. Uh, Oxygen production offline. It's not going to be, it's not going to work. It's not high enough. Zero percent sun. Maybe right here would work. Oh, that's not going to work either. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Okay, so now for us to get this to work, we're gonna have to have one of those. You know what? We're gonna have to have something I've never ever used before. Um, an air pump. I've never ever used an air pump before. Altera paint tool. Oh, Pathfinder tool. This floating air pump, floating device pumps air into pipes, acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to get that. Oh my gosh, and then like a billion pipes going down? That's gonna be terrible. There is also the base oxygen tank provides pressurized oxygen when connected to its own floating air pump with pipe sections designed for small habitats, larger habitats may require more units move close to see tank utilization. Hmm. You know, I would almost just rather use uh, vertical connectors. Like build a little base piece up here. Now the problem is we can't because it's floating. Because I can't just set this down here. Let's see. Let's figure this out. There's got to be somewhere down here we could set this. And then maybe we could connect it. Yeah, there's literally nothing down here. <laughs> there's nothing here. Like, maybe right here? Of course, I don't know that this is any better. I mean, how far away are we? I, mean, I guess we're only 102 meters away. So, I mean, that, that's a little bit better. All right, let's go back in. Okay, so we've already gone through here. Can't go there. Can we fix this piece right here? Apparently not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Further electrical boxes in need of repair. Oh. Okay. Oh, and then we also have down here. All right, let's go grab some oxygen again. Man, I really wish there was like an easy way in and out of here. Well, that, that said something when I went past it. Okay, this is better. This is better than what we had before. Um, Let's go ahead and let's take the power out of here. And let's swap this with this guy. And then we'll see if we can do some repairs here and kind of see what's going on. Oh, it's closed door. Okay, that's what it is. All right, was there any other hubs in here? See, there's a flashing thing right here. Let's make our way through here, maybe. What's flashing in here? No power, please check generator. Uh, not really seeing anything there. We did bring a power cell. See, it looks like there's another electrical thing or something over here. Um, let's see, what was down here? Fabrication room. Put the four correct four pin digit in. Oh, there's another thing right there. Okay. Oxygen real quick. Okay, let's try this generator. Oh, I, went, I just turned around. Let's try this generator here. I oh, cannot remove power cell from generator. Wait, what? We need that many generators to get this thing going? 
Oh man, we need five of those things. Holy moly. Okay, um, we have a little bit of time. Let's just quickly... Can we get through here? Where does this take us? Give me somewhere. All right, I have to go get oxygen now. Oh! It took me into this room. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. There was a T somewhere. Oh no. 30 seconds. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh no, we're going to die here. I don't know how to get out of here. Oxygen. Yep, we're going down. I got stuck. Can't see anything. How do I keep coming between these two rooms? I have no idea. Well, there's a death for the books. Uh, well, I mean, we're still here. So, I just don't feel like we have enough oxygen to make this happen. Um, we definitely need our bigger... We need a bigger oxygen tank. We also need five power cells. Yep, I think we're going to have to... Um, I think we're going to have to revisit this. I just don't think we're equipped enough to deal with this right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're going to just progress in the game a little bit. We're going to go, uh, we're going to probably have to go take care of the Aurora. Uh, we'll get some radio calls. We'll go start getting some, uh, some life pods unlocked, things like that. And hopefully get some better equipment. I need a bit, I need a bigger auction tank is my problem. Because by the time I get lost in those tunnels, like it's just, I just don't have enough time to actually like look around and interact with anything. Cause I'm sure there's like tons of stuff that I missed, but I was trying to rush the whole time. So we shall see, we shall see, but that is actually going to end this episode. I know it was a short episode, but we know what we need to do now. We got it figured out. And uh, yeah, next episode, we're going to focus on getting things unlocked, getting things done and going from there. So yeah, thanks again for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things and I'll see you in the next one.